So, as you all know, there's a brand new Bear the Odd Parent series on Paramount Plus. And instead of subjecting myself to that, and then making a full coordinated script, recording it, editing it, and putting it out on YouTube, I just decided with myself, no, no, I'm not going to do that because I refuse to watch it. That's right. I'm pulling the James Rove Ghostbusters 2016 here, and I'm just telling myself, no, I'm not going to review it. I'm not even going to watch it. I'm not even going to acknowledge it. And I'll explain it right here. Fairly Odd Parents, to me, is one of the quintessential shows of my childhood. With this show and plenty of others that are on screen right here, it pretty much is a catalyst for me and I feel for others for wanting to get into animation, wanting to make your own shows, wanting to break out and do something big. And Fairly Odd Parents for the time was one of the quintessential shows to do that. But over the years, and I brought this up in my How Not In Your Series video, Fairly Odd Parents has gone from what I feel was a promising series that could have this legacy of being top tier cartoonism to now be an example of a show that started off great but then ending on a very very bad note and that's just me putting it nicely fairly odd parents start off strong but coast the end it was trying whatever it can and i mean whatever it can to still be relevant and to be at this place where it was originally when it came out and in trying to do that in the later seasons it practically stopped caring for what it was originally. It stopped being this show about a kid and his fairies and the misadventures that would go in it to trying to throw anything at the wall to see what sticks. And that includes adding characters, underutilizing old characters, putting in fucking memes, and switching up the animation from hand-drawn to flash. For me, the final nail in the coffin was the move to Nicktoons. Because Nicktoons these days is just used to unload all the cartoons and shows that Nickelodeon had originally on their channel before deciding they're just done with it. So the move to Nicktoons was at the time the final known the coffin. But then this show happened. Just looking at the trailer, it just looks off. It doesn't really feel like the Fairly Odd Pants we already know has been established all these years. Instead, it comes off more as the current day Nickelodeon sitcom. And my opinion on Moe's can be summed up with, why? Like, don't get me wrong, I do like Nickelodeon sitcoms. I, Carly, Drew Jackson VP, Victorious, they're all good and they're all funny. But it's like someone in the boardroom said to everyone, hey, I know we have a mix of kid and teen audiences, but what if we just acquired just the kid audience? And I honestly feel with that idea, the sitcoms of Nickelodeon have been somewhat not entirely, but noticeably dumbed down as a result. And I feel with this idea, combined with Fairly Odd Parents, is the most noble example of this idea. This show just feels like it was built in a room with board members saying, do this, do that, do this, instead of taking into consideration what made Fairly Odd Parents good to begin with. Yes, this show was crazy. It was about a kid with fairies granting his every wish. What more do you want from that? But with this show, there was definitely lessons that were learned, character development that happened, Timmy Turner grew as a result of his actions, and at moments where the show had half heart, it had heart and knew what to do with it. It was entertaining, but it also knew to take itself at a level where it didn't have to be overtly serious, but it knew how to teach lessons as a result. I feel this show won't do that. And it would just focus on being a dumbass Nick comedy. And what's worse is, we've already had finales to the original series that I feel could have been the total bookend for the franchise entirely. Channel Chaser, Schools Out, the Wasology Trilogy were per finales to the original TV series. And if you want to get controversial, the fairly odd movies with this guy, while not good entirely, was at least passable. And I can accept these movies as long as I like a different continuity sort of situation. But this show, I feel they're trying too hard to kind of continue the story what we already know while also retconning stuff because where I can tell from the promotional stuff, I don't think they're going to be focusing on the later seasons of the show, which, eh, it's a small step in the right direction. 
but it still won't be big enough to where I can actually look at this and think, this is something I can check out. So, to practically sum up my ramblings for the past 5 minutes, this show looks bad, and I refuse to waste my time watching it just to try and make a video out of it, or if I have spare time on my hands, I have to watch something out of boredom. Look, if there's someone out there who actually legit likes the show, good for them. But for me, I'd rather focus on the early seasons of Fairly Odd Parents, forget the later seasons, and then just focus on the fact that we have three good finale movies that can work well to bookend the series. But Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder looks like a corporate attempt to try to continue the franchise by making something annoying and doesn't have any heart in the process. And I hope from the bottom of my heart, this show is the final nail in the fucking coffin for this franchise.